Hello, everyone. Hello. Nice to meet you all, guys. Here, this is Vincent, and this is my old uh, old friend Phil. Yeah. Hello, Hello. Phil. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the last time, uh, in the last last uh, uh, live show, we have talked about the safety about our outdoor yes. lightings. Uh, last time we talked about the driver, driver and, and the SPD, SPD safety, safety measure. measures. Yes. So this time I think we will talk about something different. Yes. In in the safety measures. Yes, you can see something in my hand. Yes. It's uh, PCB. PCB. Yes. And this is something we will talk we about later. later. Yeah. Yes. So I think though this time we will talk about some safety measures about the. Uh, PCBs, right, yes. Phil? So, can you please introduce some uh, general knowledge about the uh, problems on the PCBs? Okay, so we all know that the LED chips was made up by semiconductor materials, yes. and uh, these materials are very sensitive to temperature, right? Yes, you are right. So, uh, how to keep the main temperature in a area in a reasonable area yes. is very important exactly but uh, we all know that the temperature rise mm -hmm. of LED chips is uh, fundamental it can be avo avoid uh, yeah yes so this time we will talk about so, uh, what measures that we can do to avoid this kind of uh, uh, situation yes uh, happens on the PCBs yeah. So the first method I want to introduce, I think, is the uh, mm, yeah, that's this, this one, right? We, we, we need to paste the silicone pad on the back of the PCB. So this is the silicone pad. Yes. As we all know, that's our PCBs are all made of the aluminum. And aluminum is a very, very good material yes. to dissipate the heat. And it's a very good it also has a possessed a, a good performance uh, on the heat conductor. Conduct. Yes. yes. So when the lights are installed, it it's goes like this, and on the top of it is the lamp body, yeah. and uh, the heat will generate from the LED chips, and the heat will generate will uh, goes up to the back of the PCB, and and on the top of the PCB, it's a lamp, lamp body. body. Yeah. Is it enough? No, it's no, not enough. it's not enough. Yes, because yeah. between the lamp body yeah. and the PCB, there is a air, air gap. gap between yeah. the b between those two uh, components. So that's why we need to paste our silicone pad yes. on the back of the PCB. To have a better heat yes. dissipation. Yes, but only by this way that the PCB and the LED chips will have a good performance on the heat dissipation. Yes. By the uh, lamp, lamp body on it, and the heat will go up to the, to, uh, to the PCBs, the aluminum, and then go to the uh, silicone pad, and then the silicone pad leads the heat go on to the uh, body. lamp body directly and then the lamp body will uh, will dissipate those heat yes. uh, to the air yes. immediately yes. so only in I think only in this way that we can ensure our LED chips uh, they will have a good performance when they are working yes so I think the second one is about the some uh, some th uh, uh, smart control so, yes, yes. And uh, you know the me second method is the mister. Yes, the mister. Yes, uh, we all know that the aluminum have a good performance on heat conduct. Yes, so exactly. If we want to detect the LED chips mm -hmm. temperature, uh, yes. we can detect the PCB temperature, and then we can get this chips temperature, right? Yes, yes, yes. So. How do we get the? How do we detect the PCB's temperature? Do you know it? I think we just uh, uh, we have a kind of device that's uh, connected to the driver, 
Facebook, yes. the NTC, yes, the NTC semester, code. yes. As I said before, yes, and uh, we will install semester in on PCB, mm -hmm. and uh, semesters resistance is uh, you know the will be changed by the heat by the temperature, temperature. Yes. when the temperature rise the resistance will go down, go down rapidly the, yes and yes. then our driver <coughs> will detect, detect it. it and then <coughs> decrease de decreasing the output, output power, power yes. and uh, so the LED chips temperature will goes down will goes down yeah and so the the and uh, finally mm -hmm. the temperature of keep looping like yes, this right keep looping like this so the the, 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 the temperature of PCB the whole temperature will be maintained in mm. a reasonable reasonable area. area yes so the second way uh, we need we need to uh, install a, a semester yeah semester on on the on the PCB, PCB. and then our driver will yeah, control the, yes. will control the output power yes. to uh, slow down and to decrease the power of the whole LED chips. Yes, according to the resistance change, mm -hmm. our driver will control the output power. Yes, so exactly. Through this way, we can control the you know the temperature of the whole lamps yes yes exactly so i think uh, two ways it is a uh, very general in the lighting industry yes. right phil so the first way that i introduced the to paste a uh, pa uh silicone pad it's a physical way yes yes, yes. and the second way it's that uh, phil electrical. mentioned yes, yes it's a it's from the electrical, electrical aspect yes. yes so there are two ways uh, in our factory to avoid those kind of uh, uh, overheating on mm -hmm. the PCBs. Yes. So above all, it is about the uh, safety measures on the PCBs. And if you like our video, please subscribe here on YouTube. Okay. And if you have any questions or you need any help from us, like you need you need help with the something like op optic optics yeah optics problems anything in outdoor lighting yes related questions us. yes via this channel or other or other mm -hmm. our social media social media yes you can follow us on all of our social media we have twitter we have uh, facebook and uh, youtube and youtube as well so if you want to contact us do not please do not forget to yes. visit our website right over here it's www right? yes www.conlight.com it is very easier to remember and and on that page you can find our uh, email address and the contact numbers yes as soon as we get your message we will get get back to you very soon yes okay so above all is about today's uh, live show and the next time we will talk about something different about the outdoor lightings yeah and next time we will see you on the facebook so before we finish today's live show i would like to wish you all merry christmas merry christmas bye bye merry christmas bye bye see you see you